Stock Pulse News Debrief in the mining sector. We've got Skeena Resources, it's SKE on the venture, and SKREF on the OTCQX in the States. So we've got a maiden resource estimate for SK Creek. I've got with me now the CEO, Walter Coles. Okay, Walter, uh, congratulations, I guess, is in order here. Some pretty good news here. Why don't you run us through the numbers here uh, on the estimate? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, you know, I just, you know, in terms of expectations internally, I was hoping we'd see something like just over a million ounces, maybe seven, eight grams. Um, you know, we almost doubled that. Uh, we're almost 1.9 million ounces, uh, you know, split between inferred and, and indicated. But the uh, the grades on the open pit or the pit constrained resource, five grams at a 2.9 strip ratio, it's fantastic. Um, same thing, underground grades of 10 grams, Per ton, I was hoping we might end up at like seven or eight. So, you know, ten grams is fabulous. Um, so, just in terms of the overall numbers, uh, really, really, really happy with with how it turned out. And 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 also, let me add something else. I didn't know what these numbers would be until about a week ago, um, because just the way. I guess the modeling works not until you get all the data in and all everything set up and then you press a button and you get the output. So, um, you know, really didn't, didn't, you know, we had some hopes, but we really didn't know what we we're going to end up with till, till almost last week. Quite the news to be sitting on for a week. Uh, uh no, we know now what's uh, what are the next steps here? Well, uh, a couple things. We did not include any of the base metals in this, uh, this resource. And that's partly because there are areas uh, at this VMS deposit that have the base metal pods, and there are areas that have the precious metal pods. So if you were, if you're going to go about mining this for the precious metals, you wouldn't you wouldn't mine the section that have the sections that have the base metals, and vice versa. So you know, rather than end up with like a diluted base metal number and a diluted precious metals number, it made sense to just do this in a two-step process, and so that's why we tackled the the precious metals first. The next step is to go back and look at the uh, the base metal opportunities here, mainly in the, the zinc and the the lead aspects. So that's next. Also, antimony. There's sections of very high high percentages of antimony, and that uh, you know was a penalty back when they were mining in the 90s and early 2000s, but today has the potential to be a meaningful uh, credit. So that's the next step is to look at the, you know, where are the base metals? What are the quantities? What are the percentages? And then, uh, and then after that is the metallurgy. So part of the drilling that's underway right now is to uh, provide core for fresh metallurgical tests as well as infill drilling. Uh, so we'll be doing the metallurgical test this winter um, at the same time as defining the base metal content, which should hopefully put us in a position to possibly start a PEA next spring. And it's a, this is an amazing project, and and that it feels like we'll be able to move it ahead pretty fast. Okay, Walter Coles, CEO, Skeena Resources, SKE in the venture, SKREF, OTCQX in the states. Hey, Walter, appreciate the update. We'll look forward to tracking your progress in the future. Awesome, anytime.